hi friends still now i have explained many topics in all the topics the common is i have written the matter and i have explained today's video i am trying somewhat different why because see i have taken a test book in the test book the matter is with detail and some figures are good so i chosen the test book topic to explain today so let's go the topic the title is simple see the magnetic field due to straight wire ca carrying current so the title is if a current is passing through a straight wire the magnetic field is generated so how we will see from this activity let's proceed to our activity the activity required are so the materials as it is test book there is no separate as main material so i am saying the materials required are one stand rear stretch stand next copper wire the connecting wire next wooden plank compass needles next battery a table these all are the apparatus next the final the switch so let's check what is the use of this total apparatus in our activity let's proceed step by step take a wooden plank and make a hole as shown in the figure 4a so according to this point we have to take a wooden plank and for this plank we have to make hole at one of the edge of the plank this is the case next place this plank on the table so the plank should be placed on the table now place a rear stretch stand on the plank as shown in the figure 4a so after placing the plank on the table let's place one stand on the plank next pass 24 gauge copper wire through a hole of the plank and rubber knob of the rear stretch stand in such a way that the wire be arranged in vertical position and not touch the stand so for this total i will explain see after placing the stand we have to pass a copper wire of 24 gauge through the hole and this should be passed to the stand with the help of rubber knob we have to place it to the stand so the rubber knob makes the wire to make it as vertically in vertical position by this what happens the wire will not be in any disturbance it will be straight so the rubber knob plays major role here next after finishing that point connect the two ends of the wire to a battery via switch place 6 to 10 compass needles in circular path around the hole so that its center coincides with the hole use 3 or 9 volt battery in the circuit switch on the switch on current flows through the wire so for this total i will explain see we have passed the wire and the wire should be passed through the hole and it is connected to the rubber knob and next it is passed to the stand later it should be connected in series with the battery and one switch and it is connected to one of the end of the wire this is the circuit which is in closed form later what happens we have to place some compass needles around the hole nearly 6 to 10 so what is the use of the needles we will see next how the how do the directions of the compass needles change so for this change what happens so i already said in my previous video if you pass the current and if the current is passing through a wire and if the wire is beside of any magnetic compass what happens the magnetic compass needle will deflex due to the magnetic field produced by the current carrying wire so this is the case here it will play role c i will keep the videos link in this description try to check next in this case c if you on the switch so if you on the switch what happens the current will pass so if current is passing what happens the compass which are around the hole the needle should be get deflected this is the case so we will check see the as is the test book some questions will be asked so how do the directions of compass needles change so if the switch is on if the current is passing then what is the position of the needles is asking let's see you may notice that they are directed as tangents to the circle so whatever the circles are there for that circles what happen the needles will be in tangent position this is the answer next what is the shape of the magnetic field line around the wire so we already said so i already concluded that the current carrying wire produces magnetic field so what is the direction of magnetic field 
we will see so this is the question so let's see the answer it must be a circular line so we can conclude that magnetic field lines are closed lines so as the magnetic fields are generated in circular way what happens these are closed lines so it can be concluded that the magnetic field lines are closed lines next the magnetic field lines due to straight wire carrying the current is shown in figure 4b and 4c so in this case see a wire is there it is passing the current and the magnetic fields are generated around the wire so this is the 4b and next the another diagram it is 4c so what is the use of this two we will see next this can be verified by sprinkling iron fillings around the wire when current flows in the wire so to check whether the magnetic field is around the wire is in circular or not what happens we have to place some iron fillings in zigzag way or any random next we have to pass the current through the wire so what happens if the current is passed the magnetic field will be generated around the wire so this magnetic field which is generated it makes the iron fillings in the place of circular position so by this we can confirm that the magnetic field will be generated in circular way around the wire let's proceed what is the direction of magnetic field induced at any position of the field line so we have seen two magnetic fields so what is the two cases is we will see now so let's proceed if the current flow is vertically upwards the field lines are in anti clockwise direction as shown in figure 4b so in this case if the current is flowing upwards so i have taken separate so if the wire is taken if the wire it is passing current in upward direction what happens the direction of the magnetic field will be anti clockwise it's clear next if the current flow in the page in downward direction the field lines are in clockwise direction as shown in figure 4c so this is the case so for this also you can see if a wire is there and the wire is passing current and the current is from downward direction so if the current is in downward direction what happens the magnetic field which is generated around the wire it will be in clockwise direction the opposite of previous case so the clockwise direction magnetic field will be generated when the current is flowing in a conductor in downward direction simple next how do we determine the direction of field lines so how we will decide this one so the produced field lines are in which direction to decide this it is can be easily determined with the right hand thumb rule if you grab the current carrying wire with your right hand in such a way that the thumb is in the direction of the current then the curled fingers show the direction of the magnetic field as shown in figure 4d so let's see this diagram the right hand rule plays major role here so if you are taking a iron rod or iron wire or any conductor where the current is passing and you are holding in your right hand next what happens if you are passing any current means any conductor is just explaining same if you hold any conductor the conductors is catched grabbed in your hand then if you stretch your thumb finger the thumb finger shows that it is the current direction next the wow fingers which are inwards the curl fingers will show the direction of the magnetic field so this is the case if the hand you if you make the conductor to flow the current in downward direction what happens the right hand thumb will become reverse and we can see that the direction will be in opposite it is in clockwise direction simple friends i will explain one more time see the two important topics of this total so if the current carrying wire it is passing current in the upward direction the magnetic field will be in anti clockwise direction simple next if the current carrying wire it is passing current in downward direction the magnetic field will be in clockwise direction so this is the both the both are important next i will upload some more videos about magnetic field which is passing through a conductor where the current carrying wire it is passing let's check it out in next videos